Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to go over discounted cash flow and how to calculate it. So a good example of when you might do this is if you're getting cash in the future and you want to know what that's worth today. So an example scenario I'll go over is, you know, if you, if, if, if you've got, uh, won the lottery and got a lump sum payment today versus if you just received payments every year for the next 25 years what what the equivalency would be between those payments between getting one now and what the equivalent amount would be over a series of in this case 25 years so i'm going to start with just inputting some amounts for for cash i'm just going to say you know let's say you get a hundred thousand dollars every year for the next 25 years not including the current year and the one thing you're going to need to do when calculating present value and discounting that cash flow is you need to know the discount rate so the discount rate is you know think of this as the rate of return that you could earn on an investment um, today so for example if i use the rate of 10 percent and I wanted to calculate the present value of this $100,000 a year from now. What I could do is take 100,000 times it by oops, times it by 1 plus the discount rate which I've put in a name ranged and raise that to the power of -1. And that will give you an amount of $90,909. And so the reason I'm raising it to the power of negative one is basically I'm pulling it back a year um, to say this is what it's worth today at year zero. Um, you might see other calculations online, but this this I find this is the easiest one to, to use. And so I'll give you an example of why this makes sense. So if I had that investment of 90,909.09 and I could invest that and earn a rate of 10%, then that times 1.1 is going to give me a hundred thousand dollars so what this present value tells me is that a hundred thousand dollars a year from now is the same as ninety thousand nine hundred nine dollars today because i'm assuming that i can invest this amount at a rate of ten percent now realistically ten percent is a high return so you might say maybe five percent is more realistic especially especially if you're factoring um less risk so in that case, I can modify this by 1.05. And again, it's, it's, it gives me a, a fairly close, close amount there. But the idea is that, you know, the, the present value is what, what that dollar value is worth today. Um, and so what I can do is I can copy this formula down. And what it's going to do is it's still raising to the power of negative 2, negative 3. And you'll see that the further away you go into the future the less that money's worth because all the all the while you could have been making five percent every every year so if i want the present value of all of these cash flows all i need to do is really just do a uh, summation formula just grab all of these values and that tells me 1.4 million dollars at a rate at a discount of five percent now if that discount rate is two percent then that value goes up to 1.9 million because there's not a I'm not losing as much over those years. So the higher number, like for instance, if you had a ridiculous discount rate of let's say 20%, you know, then look at how small that number is in 25 years. Just because if you could be making 20% a year, then you're losing a whole lot of money by by collecting that hundred thousand dollars 25 years from now as opposed to having it today so that's 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 how that how you can think of that discount rate is that's that's your opportunity cost of how much you could have been making on that so i'm just going to go with a standard five percent for the discount rates i mean obviously it's going to have a big impact on your present value calculations but just so you're aware of how that works um some i'm going to sort of prove this out and how this works and saying i'm going to take the ending balance of of the cash flow that i've received in the future and then I'm going to multiply it. And again, this is what I'm going to make on that investment. You know, I'm going to make 5,000, let's say, next next year. 
And so I've got my cash flow of 205,000. Now if I copy this all the way down, right? So now I'm making $5,000 on this $100,000 balance. And in this case, I'm not taking the present value because I'm just assuming, okay, I've collected 100,000. This is the possible return I could have been making along along these years. And so by the end of year 25, it could be $4.7 million. And this is without adjusting for any present value calculations. And the purpose of this is, I'm going to say that, okay, to I, I can get to the same level by just getting a lump sum of the present value of all these all these all these future payments and factoring in a 5% return. So for instance, 1.4 um, million dollars. And if I simply do one plus a discount right here, then that says after year one, it grows to 1.479. And if I drag this all the way down, you'll see it gives me the exact same amount as if I were to collect these payments and then reinvest them every year. So this tells me that between making a hundred thousand, collecting a hundred thousand dollars every year for twenty-five years, that's the same as getting a lump sum payment of one point four million dollars in year zero, and just simply making that five percent return every year. So you know, when doing a present value calculation, you don't need these extra columns like E to E to H. I just did this for the purpose of showing how to, to prove this out, to show that, okay, this is this is what that equivalent would look like over the years. But basically, this is the number that you're after. And if you're doing a present value calculation, you just really need these two to know how to discount the future value. But what you can see from this is it's really important to figure out what that discount rate can be because that can have a, a significant impact on your calculations. So knowing what's behind that and how to calculate it or how to estimate, I should say, is is crucial. Um, so I've saved this file in in the in a in a link. I'll, I'll post the video. And so if you want to uh, play around with it or test this out, feel free. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. And that wraps it up for Discounted Cashflow.